Good morning, saints. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. God is good. Amen. God is good. We say the awesome God. Amen. Bless us to be up. Wake us up this morning. Clothe us in our right mind. Amen. God is an awesome God. God is an awesome. Look at your neighbor. Say, God is awesome. God is an inspired. God is still awesome. No matter what I'm going through, what I've been through, that God of mine is still awesome. And because of that, I'm going to give him praises because he's worthy to be praised. Amen. We truly thank God for blessing us on today. Amen. That we are in the land of the dying. Amen. On our way to the land of the living. Amen. Thank God for all that he has done. All he is doing. Amen. And all he's going to do. Amen. We are so thankful for all of you that are here. Amen. Even the ones that are on, on, on Facebook. Amen. Any other kind of social media that's watching us. We truly thank God for all of you all as well. Amen. Did y'all come to give God some praise? I know this is fifth Sunday, amen, but to me every Sunday ought to be a day of Thanksgiving. And not only every Sunday, but every day is a day of Thanksgiving. Amen. Let us join in with our choir, amen, and sing some of the fire.
Hey, mighty good. Mighty, mighty. He's been good, mighty good to me. Amen. We serve an awesome God. Look, you don't mind. Look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor. Amen. It's a neighbor. Amen. I came to give God some praise. Amen. Amen. That, that, that neighbor look quiet. Amen. That, that neighbor look quiet. Amen. Look at your other neighbor. Say, neighbor, did you really come to give God some praise? Amen. If that neighbor quiet, you might need to get up and go sit somewhere else. And 
Amen. Let's give him a hand clap of praise. And we thank you, Minister Brown, for that fervent prayer. Amen. There ever was a need of prayer. Now is the time. Amen. God, keep on making a way for us. Amen. Not one time, not two times, but over and over and over again. Amen. Amen. It's not time for our welcome. Unwavering support on last Sunday during the musical. 
You came out and performed in such a magnificent way. You worked long hours on that night. Indeed, it was a long night, but let me serve notice. Not only that my eyes saw the efforts that you put into working the event, but God and his eyes are a lot bigger than mine, and he's the rewarder of deeds. So again, I thank you very much and continue to support the ministry you're involved in, the building of kingdom. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Psalms 34, 3. To Pastor Charles Harvey Jr. and the Congregation of St. Stephen Missionary Baptist Church, greetings to all of you in the name of Jesus Christ. We cordially invite you and your congregation to the Pilgrim Rest Missionary Baptist Church Youth Revival that will be held July the 8th, 9th, and 10th at 7 p.m. nightly in Dyersburg, Tennessee. It would be an honor if you, Pastor Charles Harvey Jr., would be, a guest, be our guest speaker for each night of our revival. Let us all praise God and lift our youth together. We look forward to your presence. Thank you and God bless. Let us continue to pray for our pastor, kingdom building, unity, and each other. That concludes our announcements for this week. Amen. 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 Let us say amen. amen. And God is still adding to the, his church. Amen. And this is what it's all about, church. I, I learned that it's not about me and it's not about you, but it's about doing God's business. Amen. Adding to his kingdom. And amen. To my, my joy is that these are all young, young ladies. Amen. That committed their lives to Christ. Amen. There's so many other things that they could do, so many other places they could be. But God saw fit, amen, to bring them to St. Stephen about this church. That's what going to make me say, thank you, Jesus. Amen. amen. We're going to have songs from the choir. Amen. And I'll be back after they sing their selection, most selection.
we, we're going to open the floor now to, to testimony or to anybody here that want to just get up and say, Lord, thank you because you've been good to me. I, I tell you what, I, I, I can start it. I, I can start it by saying this. Last week, uh, last Thursday, I had I encountered, I encountered a lot of people, but two people that I encountered on last week are not here this week. Mm. I had a phone call from one of my close, close family members that, I, uh, I mean, we grew up together uh, on Thursday, and, and I get another phone call Monday, and she's dead. She called me Thursday, clowning on the phone as always. And Monday I get the phone call, she's gone. That same Thursday I, I went to CJ's sports bar and me and my wife ate some food. That's, that's Cliff, Dr. Cliff Brown and place and we ate some food and I encountered one of my cousins that I hadn't seen in a while. And on yesterday, I, I get a phone call that he transitioned yesterday morning. So I, I'm saying that to say this. We don't know when our time. I, I never would have thought that I, I, I encountered both of them. One with the phone call and another was standing right beside me conversating. And here we are Monday, I mean Sunday morning. And, and they're not here. That there's no limit. There's no secret. Amen. Nothing is too hard for God. That that God of ours, your time is not His time. Are y'all in here? And and what makes me rejoice is that I, I say this: that whenever He decides to, to to pick my number, I'm gonna say like John, Lord, I'm ready. Are y'all in here? And because I know that because of what I'm doing and what I have done. Amen. And, and you all, let me tell you this, none of us are promised to see the next minute, next second, next hour, I mean the next day. And if you have not committed to doing the things you need to do, I mean, I'm going to just preach right here. See, y'all don't want to testify anyway. I said, if you have not committed to doing the things that you need in proper perspective with God, I will not let this day go by without saying, Lord, I'm sorry. And I need some help from you. Y'all in this house. See, I had to learn. I had to learn. I'm going this way. I had to learn in my own, in my own life that number one, I can't save myself. Y'all in here. No, number two was I had to learn if I decide to quit something, if I don't have the Holy Spirit with me, I'm going back to it. And number three was if I really want God to do something in my life, I had to be serious with Him. Y'all in here. The God ain't going to break this to me. This is what I want y'all to hear me. Hear me when I say this, and I'm, I'm going to wrap it up. God will not keep the door in on your life. Y'all in here. The scripture said, whosoever will. And I don't know about y'all, I was in the whoso crowd. And he said, whosoever will, he said, let him come. He said, I don't care what you've done. And then the thing, I'm not about it when he said, when you come, I would in no wise cast you out. I don't care what you've done last night. I don't care what you've done last week. I don't care what you've done yesterday. You have not done enough wrong that God can forgive you. See, sometimes you need to just talk to the congregation and don't put them up here. Just you be, be shooting straight from the hip. 
have to be real with folk. And, 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 and I, I'm saying this to all of you all. All of us here got flaws. Reverend, don't, 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 don't put me in that boat. Well, the scripture said, the scripture didn't say for y'all. He said, for we all have seen and come short of God's glory. And so only thing I'm saying today to you all is, we don't know that the gospel four sing a song that said, since they were here last week, we don't know the day nor the hour when the Son of Man shall appear. But both of these people that passed away in my life, man, neither one was 60 years old. Neither one of them. One was 47, 48, young lady. The other one, I think, was like 57, 58. That's a young age. And the thing about God, God don't care how old you are. He don't care who you are. What's your prestige? What you own, how much money you got in the bank. When he do this, and I'm gonna say this to my young people. I'm gonna say this to my young folk. Y'all dying. It, it used to be a lot of older funerals, but you got more young funerals than you have older funerals now. I've never seen so many young folks have heart attacks. Never seen so many young folks have depression. I I've never seen so many young folks have anxiety attacks. I've never seen it in all my days. God is taking us out of here. But the question of the day, and I'm out of here, are you ready? Are you really ready? Well, Pastor, I got to get myself ready. You ain't going to never get yourself together. It's been folk coming to church 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 years and still haven't got themselves together. Y'all in here. But what you can say is this. Lord, I'm closer today than I was on yesterday. Church, it's time out for foolishness. It's time to get real with God. If it ever was a time for you to get real with God, now is the time. We don't have time to kick against one another. We don't have time to fight. Got time for that. That's why a lot of things that come to me, I do like that old goat at that dove well that was way down in that well. Every time that the farmer didn't know what he was gonna do with that goat, he knew it. He tried to put a rope down and get him. Every time he put a rope down, that old goat would eat the rope up, eat the rope up. Y'all in here. So he was so far down, he didn't know what to do. Is you know what? Since the old goat is so far down in the dove well, it's at least I can do is give him a decent burial. Y'all yeah, in here. He said, since I can give him a decent burial, this is what I'll do. I'll take and just throw some dirt off in there and pack it up so I can go, go and give him at least a halfway decent burial. But he didn't understand that every time he threw dirt in there on that old goat, that old goat was shaking off. And packing under his feet. <laughs> Are y'all in here? That's why every time, every little wind, every little storm, every little doctor that come to me, I don't let it bother me. I do not the old goat. I shake it off and pack it under my feet. I, I, I can't get caught up because I got my eyes set on the prize. And a lot of you all need to be that way. And the more dirt that the old farmer threw in on the goat, that old goat was still rising to the top. Watch this. Somebody might have missed it right there. The more dirt that 
you throw on me, guess what you're doing? You're still pushing me to the top. It ain't just me, it's you too. Especially if you're a child of the king. So I say this today, church, get real with God. And watch it be real with you. Give God a hand clap of praise. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. We have, I want, I want three people to come up and talk about a briefing, just a briefing of what God has done for you. Miraculously. Miraculously. Now, I, I, I can I tell you something? I know three folk. I know, but don't, don't let the new member beat you if you've been here all your life. Your heart and peace have been here. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It's just a blessing to be able to see my family members every Sunday. Amen. Lord knows we ain't a close family. It ain't no secret, but we love each other from afar. Hold on one second. Is that, hold on one. Is the mic on? Yes. It's just a blessing okay. to be able to
before my mama before I leave this earth, that he will bring me and my mama back closer. Yeah. Give me back to my family. Yeah. And that he has done. Hey, And 
I saw all the beauty that he had done in his home. See that? That boy get up on the ladders with his nose. Yeah. He hang pictures. He lay car, he fixes his car, he do everything that we do. That a person can do. I mean, he, he make clocks, he, he's very creative. He's still living. And he's doing, he's doing well now, he's doing good. He got his own trucking company that he picked up. I'm telling y'all, God is good. Yes, he is. God is good. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Y'all just better mind your parents and listen to them because we've been where y'all have been. Amen. 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 Hello, St. Stephen. I am 22 years old. I just turned 22 five days ago. I know I might look 14 or 16 or something. <laughs> um, but ever since I was eight years old, I have struggled with partial epilepsy. And as a kid, having partial epilepsy, having seizures every other day, trying to figure it out. My mama's scared, I'm scared, I don't know nobody knows what to do. Um, it's scary, especially as a kid. Um, but I thank God that I am here today. That's, that's something I'm thankful for. I had so many, so many phone calls. Um, we go on a lot of road trips and I forget my medicine or, or something, something of that sort. And I'm still here. I mean, I just keep believing. I, I used to be so scared going to the hospital getting blood drawn and all this stuff. But the fact that, that he, 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 I went through it. I went through it, but he got me out of it. Yes. Yeah. Right. And here, I'm so glad. Thank you. I'm just looking at all y'all today. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I'm, I'm glad to be a part of this church with y'all. Amen. 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 church all my life. I'm 50 years old. Reverend Adam baptized me. I miss my friends, my pops. We had good conversations at our restaurant. I don't know what Miss Adam is going to see around. Yeah, no, she said. Oh, you go. Hey, you Amen. Amen. Yeah, I'm pretty rich lady. No chicken for Mr. Adam. You know what it is? Yeah. <laughs> I just want my mom to know because a lot of storms I've been in. I'm a former gang member. I'm a drug dealer. Um, chaos in the darkness. Point blank. But I want to thank my mama, Miss Sable, and her friend, Miss John Lee. You know, she was the truth of the Keep America. And all the folks that out there in the hood that didn't think I was going to do this and that, and I proved them wrong because of you, man. You gave me an opportunity. Right. Yeah. At your restaurant. Now I'm on my own, doing my own thing. Yeah. Yeah. What you gave me, a man with a plan. Love it. I just want to tell you I love you, Mama. Yeah. You called me the other day, I was going through a storm. But it's something you gave me, you told me in 2009. 
in mind. My, my second chance has been messed up, man, when I was young. Amen. But another chance and another and another and another. Amen. That God that I serve is full of grace, full of mercy. That's the type of God that I serve. And what I love about him is he working in St. Stephen. I, I love that about my God. He's working in St. Stephen Baptist Church. Won't you come? Won't you come?
we're, we're thankful, we're grateful that you all want to be a part of our membership. All these churches in Memphis, First Baptist, Broad, all these other First Baptists, whole lot of other churches. Y'all, y'all start by St. Stephen. It's a blessing to us. Amen. Just to be able to have you all to be a part of our team. Because this is a team thing. Y'all with me, right? I can't do it by myself. I need you all, and you all need me. We need each other. And we meet together like a chain. I want y'all to know that after orientation, y'all get done with orientation, y'all have just as much rights, y'all have just as much privileges. You want y'all to sing? You say it too fast. <laughs> amen, amen. Just as much rights, just as much privileges as anyone else in this church has. Amen. But my favorite word is obligations. Amen. We all are obligated to something. And I'm going to say this, and I want to say this, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to get out of here. Everything I own has a purpose. My shoes got a purpose. My shirt got a purpose. Cover my back. My jacket got a purpose. I'm in this house. If I own a dog, he got a purpose. Y'all help me teach this. My wife got a purpose. My help me. My children got a purpose. When I get old, they got to help me. Help direct me. Amen. St. Stephen, we got a purpose. Did y'all help me? We all have a purpose. Y'all want to know what y'all y'all purpose is? To love on each other. And if one fall, we all fall. That's our purpose. And most of all, to praise and uplift the name of Jesus. It ain't hard, it's simple. So that's what we are here for, to give God praises to the utmost. So I want y'all to know that we love you. We're glad you all want to be a part of us. And most of all, we're glad to be a part of you all. We love you, baby. We love you. Amen. I need a few young. Come on, Miss Ashley. She's an old pastor. You always call me. Come down. Come down. Amen. We want, we want you, Miss Ashley. Didn't your wife just sit there just cool, calm, and collected? Come on, Miss Alicia. Come on up. Amen. I want everybody on this road to come. But mom, you ain't got to come, mom. She already, no, pastor, not me. Amen, amen. Miss Wanda, you sitting there just to cool? Come on up here, Miss Wanda. Amen. Now go ahead and hug them. Let them know that they ain't by themselves. We in this journey together. Let them know we're on this journey together. Come on up here. Yeah, you. Let me look around. Yeah, you, of course. Shale, Shale, Shale. Come on, Miss Shale. Amen. We just want to share some love in here. Amen. Oh, that's all good. I love it. She said, I'm coming because they my cousins. <laughs> well, this is a family thing. This is a family thing. Thank you, sweetheart. Amen. You guys can go over there with me. We'll see what we heard. Amen. Give God a hand clap of praise and give. Amen. Let's give God a hand. Amen. I need uh, Maurice Craig. Y'all come on with me. Oliver, Daryl, y'all guys, come on. Come on, Daryl. Amen. Any more deacons in the house? Yeah. You know Brother Mason, real cool, man. <laughs> well, you know hard, man. I get up. I don't want to get up there, man. That's my guy right there, man. Brother Mason. Hey, man. Brother Mason came and met us uh, early, what, this morning? Yesterday. 5.30. 5.30 Saturday morning. He pulled up on the park. 
I know that ain't Brother Nate. Well, you know, I just want to see y'all all. I said, Brother Nate, everybody in the bed, man. Well, you know, I just, y'all all right on these bus. <laughs> Brother Nate said, man, amen. Amen, amen. Amen. We thank God for you, Brother Mason. Amen. What you about to go through, God is still with you. I serve a God that see the beginning and the end. I serve a God that has all power. When the doctors say no, God still says yes. That God of mine healed a woman that was sick for 12 long years. That God of mine still got all power and all medicine in the hem of his garment that had the drug store in town. And I don't care what you're going through, that God of mine specializes in healing. Because I got some folk in here that had cancer and God healed their body. I got some folk in here when the doctor said they weren't going to make it, God stepped in and touched them with that kind of thing. I serve that kind of God that specializes in whenever the doctor can't do, God will do it. So that's the kind of God that I'm talking to now. Lord, you still got all power. You are still, Lord, the same God today as you were on yesterday. So God, I ask right now before the doctor ever can touch you, I'm talking to the doctor. The doctor of the doctors, they, they have a, a capitalized D, but Lord, you are the one that capitalized the D in the doctor. And God, we're asking right now in the mighty name of Jesus that you will touch this young lady. Lord, no matter what the surgery might be, you got all power. No matter what the outcome is, you see the beginning and you see the end. God, I declare victory not on my name. Like we know that you can. It's already done. It's already done. And I declare, we ain't going to wait till the battle is over to shout. We shout now because you are the one that able to do anything but fail. We thank you now. You can't fail because you will not fail, God. You're not a failing God. Oh, you are here. You are a deliverer. You a miracle worker. You a way maker. You a doctor in a sick room. You a bridge over trouble water. Lord, I wish I what I just want to tell you. Thank you. I love you. I love you, Lord. Touch now. Give this young lady peace. That's a pass all understanding. We know that you can deliver. Like we know that you can. In Jesus' name we pray. We declare right now. It's already done, Jesus. We declare a victory over this surgery right now. Heal her body from the top of her head to the sole of her feet. Have your way. Let your will be done. And Lord, let us accept your will. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank God. Amen. We love you. We love you. We love you. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Give God a hand clap of praise. Let God mind. It ain't no secret what God can do. What He done for others, He'll do the same for you. 
Give God another hand. Thank you.